Good morning, everybody. This is Subby with Tourcon Weather Team bringing you the latest update of what is going on weather-wise here in the Midwest. What you're looking at now is a beautiful sunrise here in West Central Missouri. This is the current live feed that one of the many camera live streams that we have access to here in West Central Missouri for Tourcon weather team. Just an absolute gorgeous morning out there. 64 degrees here in West Central Missouri. So we did have some severe weather yesterday. Um, it was in parts of Nebraska into Kansas as we've had uh, kind of a cluster of storm reports up here in central Nebraska and a couple in Kansas as well as central Oklahoma. Now, we've had a total of 46 severe reports that was brought in from the Storm Prediction Center. 46 of them were high wind reports, so we didn't have any hail reports nor tornado reports from that slice risk area that was out for central Kansas and to central Nebraska yesterday. So that's very, very good news um, that came out of this from yesterday. Now, let's take a look at what we have going on here over the next couple days. Starting with today, we have a slight risk area down here in the Boot Hill in Missouri, parts of Tennessee, southern Illinois into uh, parts of Arkansas as well. Um, there is a marginal risk area that surrounds that area that extends all the way down and clips eastern Texas. And we also have another marginal risk that's up here in central Iowa and clips part of western Illinois. Now day two outlook from the Storm Prediction Center uh, is, is huge. This slight risk area encompasses much of central Texas and eastern Texas, southern Oklahoma, parts of southwest Arkansas, and western Louisiana. And then on day three, it really doesn't move much. Uh, still, the uh, prime location, central eastern Texas, southern Oklahoma, southwest Arkansas, and pretty much the whole state of Louisiana. Now if we take a look at what the main threats are going to be starting with today, the hail threat is pretty much where that slight risk area was down here in the Boot Hill of Missouri, parts of southern Illinois, northeast Arkansas, and northwest Tennessee. The wind outlook is a little bit less um, we're looking at a just a 5% chance of winds in excess of 58 miles per hour in that marginal risk zones down here through Louisiana up through Boot Hill, Missouri into central Illinois and then of course that marginal risk area up here into central Iowa. Now the tornado outlook for today, there is a 5% area down here in the Boot Hill, Missouri, um, northwest Tennessee, parts of southern Illinois, we do have a 5% risk with a 2% risk in that marginal area surrounding that. And, of course, that sliver that goes up into central Iowa. Now, for day two... We have a 10% significant hatch area in central and eastern Texas. And that is going to be 2 plus inch diameter hail probability. We also have a 15% yellow shaded area surrounding that. And then a 5% chance for severe hail for the remainder of the marginal risk area surrounding that. Now the wind outlook, we got about a 5% probability of seeing 58 mile per hour winds or greater. And then the tornado outlook, it also has a 5% here in central and eastern Texas, parts of northwest 
Louisiana, and just a sliver of far southwestern Arkansas. So let's take a look at what radar might look like here over the next 72 hours as we put this into motion. As we go into Monday, you will see several little isolated discrete cells right here coming up in Texas that we'll be watching for the potential of seeing some severe thunderstorms, some severe supercells, the possibility of, of an isolated tornado down here as we go through the day on Monday and then of course on Tuesday that area kind of kind of stays in that same same location down here in central and eastern Texas into Louisiana and Arkansas now these storms up here into Missouri not expecting to uh, to be severe the main threat can be down here where the better ingredients are down here into Texas Louisiana and Arkansas and then, of course, as we head into a Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening, we'll have another round of showers and thunderstorms with the possibility of some of these being strong to severe with all modes possible down here in central eastern Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, and southern Oklahoma. Well, let's talk a little bit about the eclipse that is coming up tomorrow. April 8th. So let's take a look at what the models are showing for cloud cover. Now the cloud cover um, obviously is going to hamper the ability to be able to see the eclipse. But right now there is a, a fairly broad swath of, in, here in the Midwest that uh, that it's going to be really just partly, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. And that's going to encompass southern Nebraska, uh, nearly the whole state of Kansas, uh, the northern part of Missouri, Arkansas, uh, which Arkansas, that's great because Arkansas is actually uh, part of the totality of of the eclipse where 100% of the sun will be covered by the moon. As far as southern Illinois also looking in decent shape right now. Um, now as you get down here into southern Texas, unfortunately, with that threat of severe weather, um, we are going to be looking anywhere between 65 to 97 percent cloud cover for southern Texas and for parts of the panhandle of Oklahoma, central Oklahoma. It's not looking too favorable to be able to see the eclipse tomorrow afternoon but for some of us here in the midwest we might actually have a decent showing now another thing that we can take a look at also this is brought to you by nasa and this is the interactive map where you can actually go anywhere around the midwest and say we want to click um let's just go down here to wichita We'll click on Wichita, and it's showing that Wichita will be in the 87.6% of maximum percent coverage of the eclipse, meaning that 87.6% of the sun will be covered by the moon, and it looks like it will peak at 1.48 p.m., and looks like cloud cover is only going to be about 9% in sunshine. So you will be in a great location to be able to see this partial eclipse in Wichita. Now let's take a look in Kansas City. So Kansas City is, is looking at 1.54 p.m. to see an 89.3% maximum percent coverage of the sun so this is a great interactive map um, you can go to science.nasa.gov and you can find this great interactive map showing uh, the percent of cloud cover when you can expect to see the eclipse anywhere 
across the country. Now, for those that are in a good place to see the eclipse, remember safety. Make sure that any eclipse glasses that you are going to buy or that you already have are approved. So, on the arm of your glasses, it should read ISO 12312-2 or the older specification 12312-2 2015 would be written on the arm of those glasses. Now, if it does not say that, do not wear those glasses and look up at the sun as it can damage your eyes. So I, I know several here, several places here in Missouri where, where you can buy these glasses at every convenience store, Walmart, Target. They all had them. But just be, just be leery. Um, if you go into a, uh, a country convenience store down a gravel road selling, selling some Eclipse glasses, just make sure that they have one of the two specs on the arm of the glasses. Because we want to make sure that you are protected from the sun if you are looking at the Eclipse 2024 tomorrow, April 8th. And of course, I encourage each and every one of you guys to follow all of our social media platforms here on Torcon Weather Team. Uh, we have Facebook, YouTube, we have TikTok. We got some exciting new things coming up for YouTube on some live videos. Uh, we, we've got so many things in the works right now here at Torcon Weather Team. So make sure you guys follow us on all of our platforms to stay informed and protected of any weather hazards that come near you across the great U.S. of A. Have a fabulous Sunday, everybody, and we will be talking to you soon.